Welcome to the Share Groupie Podcast, where we share ideas on how to help businesses grow and prosper in the online world. Join host, Chief Share Groupie, Claire Sandbrook, as she discusses her digital journey and how Share Group is helping thousands to keep their business flowing and growing. Here on the Share Groupie Podcast. Hello everyone, welcome to Share Group on the Sofa. I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're in a good place. So today I'm super excited to be joined by my guest, uh, Lauren, uh, from my BNI chapter, BNI County Line Connections. And uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's a travel agent <laughs> extraordinaire. So we're going to have a great conversation with Lauren this morning. Before we do that, I always give a little shout out to our number one fan. So, hey, Ross, how are you today? I think Lauren's got a little shout Hi, Ross. <laughs> so we're both in Orlando <clears> today <throat> um, and uh, you're over in the UK, of course. All right. So, Lauren. No, I love the hat. <laughs> so good. Good love morning. Ross. So, um, I just, uh, this is going to be such a fun interview because I love travel. And you know that because I'm always putting on your Facebook page. What is your Facebook page? Because you've got a great Facebook page. It is Cocations, actually, which is the name of uh, my personal business. Yeah. So Cocations, like vacation, but my last name is Coco. I will put that in the show notes so you get some more followers to your Facebook page because she posts some amazing places that you wouldn't necessarily think about going on vacation. So it's a great place to get some ideas. So we met through BNI, and you are our yes. social events coordinator. So we're waiting for you to take us on a BNI cruise. We keep talking about that, don't we, with our chapter members? It's going to be such fun. yes. And I, I actually am looking at planning that. So it's that's looking fun. good. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Um, and I mean, when you joined the group, I think there was there was some sort of you know, do we still need travel agents and and how does that work today? So, I mean, in the in this day and age of technology, why do you think we all need a travel agent like you? Well, <clears throat> we're vitally important to navigating the, the world that is travel these days. Um, you know, you never know what you want until you really dig down um, and investigate it yourself. So we ask pertinent questions of you because you can, you can come to me and you can say, um, look, I need to, I want to plan a cruise. I've never been on a cruise before. Um, you know, give me some options. Well, there's 350 different cruise ships out there all around the world. So how do I know which one is the best for you? How do you know which one is the best for you? So we yeah. really dig down and we fine tune um, your needs and your wants and your desires so that you eventually, you know, have the perfect for you. Yes. Yeah, so and I've seen you do that with a, with a number of members. And, and today in today's meeting, you were saying that you booked a couple of trips to Antarctica for people. I actually just did. So I booked um, one gentleman on a solo trip because his wife said that she didn't want to go to the cold. Um, and then I booked another couple just this past week because the company was having a two for one sale. So two people going down to Antarctica for $12,000. Right. As opposed to the one guy paid 12000 for himself. So Wow. That's a big saving if you're going together. And what a fascinating, yes. I mean, I wouldn't say, it doesn't strike me as a vacation, but everybody's different. It doesn't strike me as a vacation destination, but um, for some people, they're just going to get completely enthralled with the, the scenery and the nature and just, you know, being close to that kind of magnificence. It's, uh, it's truly amazing. So yeah, I wouldn't know. Well, yeah. It's a bucket list item for a lot of people too. Yeah, of course, so, yeah. Yeah. you know, people want to tick off all seven continents um, and it's definitely the least explored. It's the least visited. Um, and this ship that they're taking down there is actually a yacht. Wow. So, you know, you can't go wrong when you're in luxury going down to Antarctica. No, I love it. <laughs> I don't even know that was possible. I think that's very cool. 
Okay, so Antarctica is a bucket list item. Now, your company that you yes. work for is Expedia Cruises, which when I first met you, I thought, oh, she's a travel agent that does cruises. And you said there were 350 ships, which is fantastic in itself. But you are so much more than that, girl. You do, you know, any kind of trip at all. So, I mean, you know, obviously you do go way beyond cruises. I mean, what is your, you know, your brief? I mean, in terms of what you will handle for people. In terms well, of I mean, we're travel agents, so we can do it all. Yeah. Even though our name says Expedia Cruises, um, it, it can tend to be a little misleading to some people. Um, but, you know, anything that you can do on Expedia.com, which is actually our parent company, um, we handle here plus more. So anything that you can dream up as far as a vacation is concerned, we can definitely you know, deliver on that request. So, you know, if you call Expedia.com or if you go to Expedia.com and you're trying to book something and you encounter an issue, there's an 800 number up there in the corner. You call the 800 number and you get your local Expedia Cruise Center. Oh, and okay. so you are physically talking to um, travel agents. You're not talking to somebody over in, you know, a third world country somewhere. Yeah. that can maybe help you navigate the technicalities, you actually get a travel agent that will take you from start to finish and beyond in the travel planning process. That's good to know. That's good to know. And, and you know, being part of the whole Expedia brand is huge, right? I mean, that's that just gives you such a big space in which to go and plan all these lovely vacations. So that's fantastic. Yes. Um, now, of course, the travel industry has been hit uh, like many industries, but, you know, we all enjoyed travel up until sort of the spring of 2020. And then our lives all got turned upside down, didn't they, by COVID. So, um, yes. you know, what's it like navigating COVID policies this, these days in the travel world? It's it's pretty difficult, I would say. Uh, there's every different country has restrictions and um, protocols that they follow. So, you know, here in the United States, luckily we've we've dropped a lot of our COVID protocols. You don't have to test anymore to get back into the States if you're a U.S. citizen, uh, which is really good. But, you know, if you want to travel, I have a, a client in a couple of weeks that's going down to Peru and he's not vaccinated. So I had to go into, you know, Peru's travel site, look up the requirements for him. He's got to have a COVID test, um, you know, and then we talk about travel insurance because travel insurance is, is incredibly important these days, especially with COVID. You know, you pay all this money for a trip and then you test positive for COVID and you can't go. So that's where your travel insurance would kick in and it's it's vital. So we help you navigate um, all those policies and procedures and protocols and make sure that you have the best experience possible. Yeah, that's very sage advice about the travel insurance for sure. Um, and again, I guess that's, you know, that's a great um, function of yours and a great added value for your customers that you are able to navigate all these COVID because, I mean, I've traveled during COVID between the States and the UK and it was complicated. So if I'd have had somebody not easy. That out, yeah, it's uh it's some really good added value. Yes. Um, but of course you're you're spending time, you're helping your your clients, your customers um, you know, book their vacations. I mean, is there a cost to using you or just do these vacations cost more because you're involved? What what do you say to that? There there's no cost to use a travel agent. That's oh. what I say. Um, that's a, it's a common misconception with people that, oh, I'm going to pay more to use a travel agent. I don't want to do that. I'm going to save my money and I'm going to go to Expedia.com and I'm going to do it myself. But you don't know all the ins and outs, and the little nuances that are involved in planning trips, but we can also get you better deals out there that may not be available to the general public, but Expedia has access to being Expedia. So where we get our income from is from the travel, you know, destinations and the companies that we use, because it's like a thank you. 
you know, referral yeah. business like BNI, we understand the thank you for closed business. So yeah. we send people on Royal Caribbean cruises or to AMR Resort Collection or Sandals, and they are paying us as their thank you to get us to send more business. So, so that's how it works. Team. Yeah, you're the sales Yes, team, you? so it works that way. You're not paying any more to use a travel agent, but we're fundamentally important when it comes to planning your vacation. Yeah, I think that's that's good to talk about that and just demystify that so that everybody's super clear that um, using Lauren's services. And I, I know from looking at your website um, that you have some amazing deals on cruises uh, for folks out of, uh, well, certainly Florida, um, and I expect other cruise destin- you know, destination ports as well. But I have been amazed at the pricing of cruises. So when we uh, book our next cruise, uh, then I'll be coming to you for sure. That's that's a done deal. Um, so um, cruising, I love cruising. Um, I love I loved it when my kids were little. I could put them in kids club in Disney, and they were gone, and they had a way of a time. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> was a bit more um but they enjoyed it they tell me they enjoy it they still enjoy cruising now so um but now they like to hang out with us so it's expensive um but yeah. uh you've just come back from sandals haven't you in the caribbean um i think that's right yes in grenada it's amazing yeah. um now is grenada in the caribbean it is. It's actually the furthest south island in the West Indies, only about 100 miles north of the coast of Venezuela. That's what you were telling me. So yes. um, now you went to an all-inclusive. You've obviously done cruising. You know, what's the pros and cons, do you think? Would you recommend one or the other? It, it, so it all depends on the experience that you want to have. The benefit of being on a cruise is that you get on board the ship, you unpack your luggage one time, and it's like a moving hotel. So the ship takes you from place to place to place. You can, you know, depending on the length of your cruise, you can go anywhere from two ports up to 20, or they have world cruises that are 274 days long. So the beauty of that is that, again, it's a traveling hotel, yes traveling hotel and and you get to see and experience a lot if you are looking for something that's a bit more relaxing where you just want to unplug from the world knowing that you know these days life is hectic and things get crazy and life gets crazy especially for a couple's vacation i say go to an all-inclusive Because there you unpack, you have this beautiful room in this wonderful location. All of your drinks are included. All of your food is included. And it is five-star, top-notch. You can drink from sunup to sundown and beyond if you so choose. You have mini bars in your room. You can have room service at any time. And then you just walk out and go just relax, meet new people. There's entertainment. So An all-inclusive is what I call a cruise on land, but better. So I prefer all-inclusives just because of the relaxation factor. Um, But I do like to go out and experience. And you can do that as well. You can book excursions at all-inclusives and go around and just really visit the island that you're in to get to know about that one particular location. And when you say all drinks are inclusive, are we talking alcoholic drinks or are we talking soft drinks? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> not that we're advocating alcohol, but it does. No, it does not by a any means. To a holiday. Mm. Yes, and don't worry, this is a it's a Starbucks energy drink, but I'm all about the visuals. You're all about the optics. It looks <laughs> it looks great. You you look like you're going on vacation. Honestly, you don't look like you're at work. <laughs> Which is fantastic. It's five o'clock somewhere. So, you know, as Jimmy Buffett says. <laughs> he does. Margaritaville. Um, yes. Okay. So um, uh, if a family wants to go on a reunion or a dance group wants to do a member cruise, um, how many cabins do they need to book? And and what are the, you know, what are the mechanics of that? Because there may be people that want to do that, right? So how, how does that work? Right. So there's, so group cruises, uh, big, big business 
Um, it is very lucrative to do a group cruise because then as a family, you kind of have control of everybody on the ship. Base um, room cabin amount to have a group and get the benefits of being a group is eight cabins. So eight cabins will get you um, extra perks on the ship that you can, you know, say you can give everybody in the group a $25 onboard credit that they can wow. use for the spa, you know, if they go to the shops, that type of stuff. Yeah. You can get tote bags and towels delivered to their rooms, or you can have cocktail parties and special private events just for your group on board the ship. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Yes, there's... There's definitely benefits to it. Multi-generational trips are becoming a big thing, especially now that, that COVID has passed and people are itching to get out there and experience the world again. So if you have a family reunion and you typically go to a hotel in a city, think about doing it on a cruise ship where everybody can really have a good time. They do have shorter itineraries, so three and four nights. Or you can go seven, 14 days, however long you want to, to go. Um, but doing a group is, is definitely beneficial. And you can also do plan group excursions just for your group. Great. Well, I might be talking to you about that because my daughter's getting married next year and I'm interested in what a cruise, a wedding cruise might look like. So I need to talk to you about that uh, in terms of, do you get, do you get yes. people getting married and booking cruises, you know, to, to have their wedding offshore? Or, yes. You know, beach wedding and yeah. Either that or all inclusive destinations. So sandals, sandals, secrets, uh, those are adult only all inclusives, but they do have family friendly ones. If you will have smaller children that would come. Yeah, And those are a great way to, again, have a destination wedding in a fabulous location and have everybody kind of, you know, mingling around and doing things together. Um, and then the the couple can go off on their own. So there's, yeah. there's a lot of benefits to that too. Yeah. So weddings, family reunions, um, trips. For girls the, trips. Girls trips. Guys trip. Bachelorette party, bachelor yeah. party. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Wow. I love it. That sounds fantastic. Um, so um, I mean, one thing that I I haven't really done, and I, I've traveled a lot, um, but I haven't really done a guided tour. But um, I see the benefit of it because I, you know, we were talking about Italy and I really want to go to Italy. My husband's got no interest at all in going to Italy. Um, I want to go and see the Tower of Pisa. That's what I really want to go and see. Uh, it's on my bucket list. Uh -huh. um, so, I mean, you know, what do you think about guided tours? I mean, for single people, married people, but the other half doesn't want to go, or just generally, what, what do you say about guided tours? I think they're a good option. For they people? are, guided tours are the perfect way to experience a new location for the first time right. it's very immersive it's it's smaller so a little bit more private there are several different companies that we work with that provide group tours through monogram cosmos um, so those are group tours you can get on with other people from around the world yeah and it's an immersive experience but you really get to know the history and the culture of the area that you're visiting. But there's also companies that we can work with and, and say your family wants to go and do an immersion of Italy. We work with tour guides that will do private tours just for you and your family curated around the country. They will take you to the, the separate locations. They will stay with you every step of the way, provide not only the history, but also, you know, talking to the locals they can communicate with them like we can't yeah um, and really give you that that personalized immersive experience in in that location so those guided tours are getting more and more popular yeah uh, because people are looking for something that's unique and different and they don't want to be on the cruise ship with 5,000 other people no no, I think that's a great explanation. And and what about, I mean, 
do you find um, there's a lot of guided tours across the states, or is it is it generally, or is there a bit of both? Is it outside the states and inside? And the states is such a vast country, isn't it? You know, to cover off. Um, are you finding it is. Do you more guided tours here? Well, most most of our customers are Americans, so yeah. they're not going to want guided tours of America. But that's definitely something that we can find and locate and, and put you in touch with the right people. There are, you know, tour companies and stuff like that that will do those tours. Um, and there's also there's also river cruises here in America that you can take. So you can go up and down the Mississippi River and learn all about that, as well as over another popular areas up through the Great Lakes. And then you can also do the Snake River out in Washington, Oregon area. Yeah, well, that's fantastic. And of course, this this little show gets watched by lots of Brits um, who, again, if they wanted to travel to the States because it is so vast and uh, they want to go and exploring, you know, they've done Florida and they want to sort of reach out into sort of the, the lesser known parts of, of, of America, um, then you're a great person for them to connect with. So I'll be sending those people your way when I get those um, requests uh, for where can I vacation in America other than Florida? Um, so that that's great. And um, yes, I would recommend the West. Yes, the West of the country. Hmm. Um, so uh, river cruises you mentioned, and um, and also uh, we were talking about expedition cruises. Now, are they on old ships? What, what, what have they got? Sail? They got sails and masts. What, what are they? Expedition. <laughs> No, some some people, if if you're versed in the cruise industry, some of your older uh, lines that would run the expeditions, say to Antarctica, the Galapagos, up through the Arctic Circle, those were kind of more cargo ship type of uh, vessels, right? That they would that they would you know run these trips on. But these days, um, you're getting more and more into high end luxury experiences. So celebrity, I don't know if anyone is familiar with celebrity cruises, but they are kind of an upstep from Royal Caribbean. They run a fantastic ship called the Flora out to the Galapagos Islands. They do have some ships that go down to Antarctica as well and up in the north. Um, so the more, the smaller, more personalized, you're, you're not going to get three and 4,000 people in these cruises because you just don't have the draw yet. Um, though Those locations are harder to get to. They're a little bit more remote, so they're not as popular, but <clears throat> you have the option of doing it in, in some pretty luxurious accommodations. So um, you know, clients are gravitating to that because as, as the baby boomers are starting to retire and they have quite a nest egg of, of, you know, disposable funds, they're the ones that are really pulling in that type of unique experience. You know, Ritz Carlton is, is coming out with a fleet of yachts. So if that tells you anything, yeah. if you stayed at Ritz Carlton before, um, they have a fleet of yachts that, that they are using, not you know, in those extreme locations, but throughout the Caribbean, they'll be sailing in the Mediterranean as well. So you really can experience those locations in pure luxury, marble bathrooms, loctane, bath, um, bath amenities, you know, drinks all included, five-star gourmet dining, you know, it's there if, if you want to take it. I know. I, I've had a little taste of that on Disney Cruise Line. I've been lucky enough to do that. I was just thinking back as you were talking to when I was in my early 20s and a student and I did a car ferry ferry from Piraeus in Greece down to Alexandria in Egypt um, and uh, got the train wow. down to um, Luxor and went to see the pyramids because that was on my bucket list. <laughs> that was a pretty long time ago. And I ran yeah. out of clean clothes. So the only thing I had to ride a horse across the desert was a pair of pajamas so I was riding across the desert in a pair of pajamas and it just brought it all back to me Lauren talking about luxury and I was thinking you know 
But these bucket list things, I mean... What was I thinking? Yeah, well, yeah. Would I do that same trip today? Maybe not. I tell my kids that. I can't believe it. Like, I, rode, I rode a horse, first of all. But um, I do... I think yeah. these bucket list trips... I've got another friend who went to the Galapagos and it blew his mind. His wife, well, that was one on their bucket list. And, you know, you, 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 you and everybody else have their own personal bucket list. And what I think you do is a fantastic job in connecting people and making those bucket list dreams um a reality um and absolutely so many fabulous places to go on the planet and I've been lucky enough to go to you know some of you know some of them myself and I highly recommend it and I um I, I love the idea of being able to work with you on on our next big trip I think it will be fantastic and it will take a lot of stress off me because you know I'm, I'm running my own business and uh I don't want all the details I don't want to go on the website yes. and look at Expedia and then figure out did I book the right flight? And I don't want to. I want someone to. And, and you you bring up the stress that's that's related to planning a trip, and it really is. You yeah. know, when you think about all the logistics that go into planning a vacation, you know, it's not just booking the hotel and yay, we're there. You know, you have the logistics of of the flight and timing the flight, and then how are you going to get from the airport to your destination. You know, if you're taking a multi-country trip, like we have one of our members in Ireland right now, yeah. and I worked with him and booked hotel rooms for the entire journey. And then, you know, his flights and the rental car to take him from place to place. So it's, it's really, it really is stressful when you think about it. And if you are working full time, or if you have family, with little kids, you know, it can, it can really take the joy out of the experience. So yeah. that's why it's good to have a travel agent because we can just wrap it up in a bow and send you on your way. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, again, um, the, some of the things that perhaps um, were only available to the super rich um, private tours, yachts, you know, it seems to me that they're becoming more accessible for people on, you know, um, as you said, have a nest egg or, or, or I've got to a good place in life and, and want to splash out on a nice trip. But they're not super rich by any means. They're just ordinary folk. Um, what, what do you say about that in terms of these these sort of um, high end items being available for for people? This, too, could be yours. That's what I say to that. Um, we companies that we work with that you can rent a private yacht and sail through the islands of Tahiti or the Seychelles or even down in the Caribbean. Just you and your partner, your family can go along with you. Um, and it's it's cheaper than you would think. But again, you get a more personalized experience and sailing on small private yachts gets you to locations that the cruise ships won't. Yeah. Because they can't get those big giant ships into yeah. some of the islands, especially down in the Caribbean. So you get to kind of customize your trip and go off a beaten path and make it your own, you yeah. know. And so that's it's it's easily attainable. Working with a travel agent, we can put you, you know, in the the vacation of your dreams that you only thought that Leonardo DiCaprio and, and Robert De Niro could have back in the day. Yeah. Uh, which you know it's easily is attainable yeah I, I love that I love that idea I love that idea well um and what's on your bucket list Lauren where do you want to go next I mean you you travel for, for a living but what's um you, you clearly love it so what would you like to do on your bucket list um one location I would say is the South Pacific um I want to go over to one of those overwater bungalows in Bora Bora, just be able to have the glass in my floor and to look down and see fish and then be able to ride off of the edge into the water. That's, that is my, that was my retirement dream when I got my financial planner several years ago. He asked what my, what my ultimate retirement thing would be. And I was like that for a week, I want to go to Bora Bora. So if anybody's seen Couples Retreat out there, the movie with Finn Swan, and they, they go to the island and, and have that really intense train at the four seasons, 
in Bora Bora. So okay. it's definitely one of my buckets. There you go. Well, that's a, I know, you know, I didn't even think about Bora Bora, but yeah, I can understand why you're saying that. So thanks so much, Lauren. That's a great insight into what you do and how you do it and how accessible you make these fantastic destinations for um, everybody. So if you're watching this in the show notes, we'll have all Lauren's contact details and her socials so that you can reach out to her and book that trip. If you are uh, watching this from Britain and you want to travel to the States and you want a cruise expert to take you out to the Caribbean, I would encourage you to speak to Lauren as well as your domestic travel agent or not just booking it from the UK, but talk to Lauren because she has some fantastic deals um, that she might not see from where you are elsewhere on the planet. So don't think just because she's in the, in Florida that you're they're kind of like not available to you. She's available to you uh, anywhere in the world. So make sure you make good use of her. All right. Well, thank you so much, Lauren. As, love as long as I have a good Wi-Fi connection, I can work. Yeah, exactly. That's the fantastic thing, isn't it, about working remotely. We can all work anywhere and still run yes. our businesses and still connect with, with great people. And BNI does connect us through our chapter network with some amazing people, nearly 300,000 people in BNI now, 10,000 plus chapters. Um, and we are certainly enjoying um, building our chapter here in Florida and bringing you know, great people into our chapter and getting them to share what they do and how they can basically help you, the listener, in your business life, in your family life. So that's it for today. Thanks everyone for staying with us through, <laughs> she's going to get dressed up. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if there's a vodka in there. Uh, staying with us for the uh, episode uh, with, with my good friend, Lauren. Um, and um, check us out on uh, www.showgroup.com. We've got tons of stuff going on our platform all the time. Lots and lots of business services to help you, the business owner, have a better quality of life and less stressful life, which is why I wanted Lauren on here today. Because look at that, she's at work. And she's still on vacation. So I just think that's a great way to run your business. What a great business to be in. Check us out on all our socials. Oh, it's everywhere. We're on LinkedIn. We'd love to hear from you. Comment on this show. Subscribe. Please press the subscribe button um, and join our community on YouTube. Um, we have a growing community and we look forward to seeing you next time. Lauren, thank you so much. Great interview. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank everyone. you, Claire. Shout out to Ross again. Thanks for watching. Yeah, bye, Rossi. Thanks a lot, Lauren. Thanks for listening to the Share Groupie podcast. To join our Share Groupie community, subscribe by going to our website at www.sharegroup.com. Keep up with the latest Share Group news across all our main channels, including YouTube, LinkedIn, and across all social media. Stay connected and begin building more business relationships.